Hello and welcome to the Phone Burner Training. I'm your host, Jeff Osnes. If you want to reach out to me, send me an email, jeff at phoneburner.com, and I'll be happy to help out any way I can. Today we're going to talk about call transfer, or the option to transfer a live call from a dial session to somebody else right from the dial session window. The option to transfer live calls is included with the unlimited and team accounts in PhoneBurner. So if you find yourself as you're making calls wanting to be able to transfer a live conversation to somebody else, this is the training for you. So let me show you how to set this up. In your PhoneBurner account, there's two ways to get here. If you're an admin, you'd go to the My Account button in the upper right hand corner and go to Dialer Settings. However, if you're an individual unlimited account, you'd go to Dial Sessions, Phone Burner Settings, and then you'd go to Call Transfer. And like most things in Phone Burner, Call Transfer is very easy to set up and use. All you have to do to be able to start using the Call Transfer feature is you need to start adding Call Transfer agents. What an agent is, is somebody that you are going to transfer a live call to. You need to set that up in the system first so that the system has that information in order to transfer the call to that person. So let me show you how you can start adding transfer agents to your account. Over on the right hand side you're going to see the button that says add call transfer agent. We're going to go ahead and click on that. So let's say for example I want to create a transfer agent that goes to just one person and one phone number. So let's do that first. Let's say John Green is my closer and now I just need to add a phone number that we're going to transfer to. And let's say he wants to receive those calls on his cell. So I'm going to type in cell and I'm going to put in his cell phone number. And then I save changes. And that's how easy it is to add just an individual transfer agent to your account. However, let's say for example, I'm out there trying to find opportunities and I have multiple closers behind me that I can transfer the call to because, you know, John Green may be tied up on another call somewhere. You know, rather than creating a transfer agent with just one person in it, I could create a transfer agent that has multiple contacts in it. Now to do that, it's very similar to creating the individual. I just click on the add call transfer agent. If I'm creating a group of numbers for one person, I can set the agent name to that person. However, if I'm creating this for a group of multiple people, I might want to create a closing group. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and put the agent name as closers. And anybody that's a closer on my team, I would add their name and phone number to the phone number section. So let's say once again, John Green is part of my closers. So I put John Green's name in there and his phone number. And if I want to add somebody else, I just click on Add Phone. Let's say Ken is one of my closers, so I put his name in there and his phone number, and I add the phone. But let's say Ken has multiple phone numbers, not just one phone number. I could add him again, and I just put another phone number in there. Once I've added all the names and phone numbers that I need to be part of this transfer agent group, I save changes. So now you can see I've got my two call transfer options available now. I've got John Green as an individual and I have my closers with the multiple people or numbers that are associated with that group. If I want to reorder these, it's as simple as dragging and dropping. I can delete a call transfer agent group or individual or I can go in and edit the group or individual at any time. So now we know how to create the call transfer agents let me show you how to use this. So we're going to go to contacts. We're going to select our group of contacts to call and begin a dial session. And then we go through the basic dial session setup. Nothing special to do here. <clears throat> so now we're connected to the system. We're going to start dialing. So as you can see, everything's the same as you're making your calls. You get somebody live on the phone, you have your conversation like you normally would. If you have then identified the opportunity, when you click the live answer button, this is where you're going to see the difference. We click on live answer, and rather than just seeing the one big end this call button, we now have two options. We have the red end this call button, and we now have a new option called transfer call. If we click on transfer call, that's going to bring up the call transfer options and any agent or group of agents that you've created will be listed as an option for you to select at this point. So if we wanted to call our closers group 
we would click on call agent. And what that would do is that would have the system initiate a call to every one of those phones. The first one to then answer the phone would be the one that we would put ultimately transfer the call to. Or we could click on the John Green option and transfer just directly to him. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the closers group. And now it's dialing the closers. So once the call connects to one of my closers, you're going to see that it's connected. But I also want to point out that once we started calling our agent or group of agents, our contact was put on hold. So right now, as I'm talking to my agent, my prospect or contact cannot hear us. If I want to bounce back over to the contact, I can click on talk privately here. That'll put my agent on hold and now I'm talking to my contact. If I then want to go back and talk privately to my my closer or my agent, I can switch back here again. This allows me to kind of go back and forth until I'm ready to actually merge the calls. Once I get to that point that I want to merge calls, I just click on the merge call button right here. Now we're all connected. I can now introduce my closer to my contact and when I'm done, when I'm no longer needed for the conversation so my closer can take over and complete the process, I can leave the bridge call at any point now and these two will stay connected. And to do that I just click on leave bridge call. That takes me out of the conversation. They're now still connected so they can continue to have the conversation, close the deal, and then I can move on whether they're done talking or not. They could talk for another half an hour if they wanted to. But when I'm ready to move on, I can click on any button at this point, whether they're done or not, and I move on to the next call. So let's go ahead and move on to our next call. We'll click they are interested. And now we're off to our next contact. And let's go through that process one more time. We're going to click on live answer. When we're ready to transfer the call, we click on transfer call. That gives me a list of all my transfer agents or groups of agents. I click on the call agent button for the group or specific agent I want to call. In this case, I'm going to choose John Green. Now my contact is on hold and the system is trying to call John Green. Once John connects, I can now talk to John. But let's say John answers and he says, oh, listen, I just don't have enough time to handle this right now. Why don't you try somebody else? I can hang up on John. Once I've disconnected with John, I can go back and talk privately with my contact. Just let him know that, hey, I'm still trying to find somebody. And then when I'm ready to find a new agent, click on choose new agent. In this case, since John Green wasn't available, I'm going to click on my closers group. And that's going to try to reach everybody. Puts my contact on hold again. So once I've got my closer ready, I merge calls. And then I leave the bridge when I'm done. And then once again, at this point, I can update the contact record as needed and then I disposition the call and move on and that does not affect the call that is happening between the closer and the contact allowing me to move on and try to find a new opportunity so let's go ahead and mark this contact as interested and let's end this session now if you're part of a team you can actually create transfer agents for the group so you don't have to go in there and create it individually for each of your team members so as an admin, you'd go to the My Account button in the upper right-hand corner, go down to Master Config, and on the Master Config section, if you scroll down, you'll see a Transfer Agents option. Over on the right, just change it from Do Not Share to Add. Once you've enabled the sharing option, if you go back to the Transfer Agents section, you'll now see the option to share your transfer agents with your team. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the sharing for these. And if I now go to my Team tab, and I log into one of my users. I can go to Dial Sessions, Phone Burner Settings, Call Transfer, and from here I'll be able to see the different transfer agents that are being shared to me. I will also be able to create my own call transfer agents. 
and whatever options I have here will be available to me as an individual rep as I'm making calls so I can do those warm transfers during a dial session to any of my closers or whatever type of person they would be transferring to. They would see that option available and they would be able to transfer the calls and move on to the next contact in their dial session. And that's a quick overview of the call transfer option in PhoneBurner. Once again, our PhoneBurner pricing is $149 for an unlimited account, $67.50 for 7.5 hours. It is important to note here that the call transfer option is only available in the unlimited and team accounts. So if you're part of a team, the more seats you have, the more money you'll save. You'll see the price breaks here down across the bottom. But we can set you up with any number of seats that you need. Just let us know how many seats you need and we'll get you taken care of. Of. If you've not set up your phone burner account, you need to go to phoneburner.com today, set up your free trial, and happy dialing.